how to lower your blood pressure immediately, I'm gonna give you three steps. Now these are three suggestions and all three of them work in very different ways. Each one can work independently of one another, but if you combine all three, you'll get even better results. So let's cover them one by one and let's learn these suggestions. Number one, take a shot of beet juice. Now beet juice does not taste as bad as it sounds. You can actually take some beets and cook them, put them in a blender and make your own, or you could buy some from the local supermarket. Either way, beet juice is tremendous when it comes to reducing blood pressure quickly because when you eat the beet juice, your body's gonna be better able to produce nitric oxide, which dilates the blood vessels. There are some randomized, double-blind clinical trials where they show that beetroot juice can reduce your systolic, which is the first number, and the diastolic number. The systolic can go down anywhere between six to 15 points, and the diastolic can go down anywhere between five to 10 points. That's significant, and it works almost instantly. And when we say instantly, we mean within three hours, your body can actually have a lower blood pressure. I'll put the link down below if you wanna read it in the description area. The second thing that you can do is you can squeeze something isometrically with your hand. So you could squeeze your other forearm really hard. You could take a tennis ball and squeeze it. You could take a softball and squeeze it. There are a number of things that you could use. The American Heart Association has said that by squeezing something isometrically, and you could just simply use a towel, for example, and just squeeze a towel. Now, according to the American Heart Association, you could reduce your blood pressure by a whopping 10%, and it occurs instantly, however, long-term over a 12-week period, by doing about two minutes of this exercise, can reduce your blood pressure for the long run. It's almost too good to be true, almost hard to believe. I would personally recommend that you do other things in addition to this, but the studies show that just isometric squeezing strengthens your arteries and can lower your blood pressure by 10%. Hard to believe. But I'll put the reference down in the description down below. And by the way, if you like this type of information, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and do all those great things for me. I do appreciate it. And that way, if you hit the bell notification, what'll happen is you'll actually get future videos relating to the same topic. So let's go into number three, walking. Walking just 20 minutes can significantly lower your blood pressure for a number of reasons. When you walk 20 minutes, your body has a post-exercise parasympathetic response, which helps dilate the blood vessels. And this will actually last for 24 hours. So if you were to walk every day, in a sense, you're keeping your blood pressure at bay. Now, exercise works so well that there is a condition called post-exercise hypotension, where this is something that you really need to be careful of because if you're taking medications that lower your blood pressure and then you start doing natural methods that lower your blood pressure even further, those medications may artificially lower your normal blood pressure so much that you almost feel faint or dizzy or not well. So be aware of this. You actually may develop almost a hypotension. So let me know what you think about all this stuff in this video, the three suggestions that I just made, try them out and come back to this video and let me know in the comment section how all of this worked out for you. Blood pressure consists of two numbers and if you wanna know which number is the most important, then I'm gonna put a link right down here in a box. So after this video ends, just hit that link and it'll give you information about what number is the most important.